those of you that have uh, a FlySky GT3B or possibly even a GT3C uh, you may have noticed that the uh, battery drains quite quickly uh, with some research on the internet I found a couple of things that uh, that people do to their fly skies and namely modify the software and this and that but the major major thing you can do is to upgrade the uh, voltage regulator now this was not my idea but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it anyway and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, have some longer run times now I'm told like the run times are uh, easily 50% more battery life now I'm sure you want that right so this is what we're going to be replacing it's basically a little voltage regulator it's a lot thicker than the one that's in it already but uh, it fits it's a very easy uh, swap uh, if you can use a soldering iron you can do this no problem so uh, let's get to it so I'm running a lipo in mine uh, while it's better it still drains quite quickly so so remove all your batteries just so you don't short anything out anywhere okay so remove actually we'll start by removing the buttons well, the button that needs to be removed Now, I've already done a few mods to mine, one of which is the LiPo that I just showed you. The other one is the screen. I flipped the polarizer over so I get the lighter screen, the darker writing on the lighter screen instead of the other way around. Uh, I did make a video on it. So let's look around, poke around my videos and you'll see. I'm sure you can find it. This isn't necessarily an easy part, but it shouldn't be too bad. Watch your buttons. So this is where the regulator is. And that's what we're going to be putting there. So it's not going to take up much room than what's already there now. now. You could either do it directly like this or you can remove all the connections, give yourself a little more room to work. I think I should be fine like that. So what you want to do is cut the, the legs off of the chip at the source so that you have somewhere to put the other ones on because they're not very long. Yeah, see this is a 7805. It's not very efficient. It does the job but it's just it's really cheap. I mean you can get those for like 25 cents. This one on eBay is uh, approximately $15, but it's well worth the money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend these a little bit down. So that we can bend these over to touch together.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dab of glue underneath. solder it. Now we can adjust the positioning a bit more. What you're probably going to need is the best what I've used all the time is some Rosen Core solder. Smallest one would be the best. And a fine tip soldering iron. Make sure it's hot enough. And then you go in and you solder everything together. Now it's not the prettiest thing, but it does the job quite well. Okay, let's hope nothing goes boom. And there you have it. We got power again. And hopefully much less of a drain. So I'll get back to you on this later, because I gotta try it obviously. So now just put it back together. Actually, I'm going to give the battery a full charge before, and then see how long it lasts. And it really was that easy. Like I said, if you got some soldering skills, or you know someone who does, it really shouldn't take long to do this. And it's a really worthwhile mod. I mean, it's $15 for the chip. I've seen it more expensive on eBay, but... $15 was the cheapest I found with free shipping and I mean $15 uh, within a year will easily save you that $16 in the batteries uh, I upgraded to LiPo thinking it would help with the battery life and it kinda did because you know the LiPo lasts a bit longer than uh, standard alkalines but it wasn't enough. Uh, I mean, two, three, maybe four runs, and I'd have to recharge. Whereas uh, a lot of my friends with the different radios had, you know, 10 up to 20 runs on a single charge. So that's it. So have fun with that. Enjoy your 50% more battery life. And uh, I'll get back to you with uh, the detail, more precise details as to how much more battery life I actually get out of it. So uh, keep on our scene.